everyone! Welcome to my booktube channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Ghost and the Goth series. When I was in sixth grade, I bought the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. I read all of the books in just a series of days. I've also reread the series a few times. Cabot recently added a new edition in the series, Remembrance. I always enjoyed that series, so when I read the Ghost and the Goth write up, I was immediately reminded of the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. Since I enjoyed that series so much, I thought I would take a chance on The Ghost and the Goth. I will mention that the book is alternating narrators, so one chapter will be by Alona, and then the following will be by Will. There is a growing trend for YA novels to have alternating narrators, particularly if it's a boy-girl scenario. I don't take issue with The Ghost and the Goth series utilizing this technique, however, because Alona is a ghost, and Will is still human, and he's a mediator, so he has his own set of problems, while Alona is coping with her death, and how people are moving on with their lives around her. I believe this series was able to get away with the alternating narrators because of their different states of mind. It worked out rather well in this series. There are times when alternating narrators make me cringe, but in The Ghost and the Goth, I didn't mind it whatsoever. Alona is the most popular girl in her high school until she is run over by a bus. In a way, The Ghost and the Goth is what I imagine Regina George's life would have been if she had died in Mean Girls instead of just injured her back. The scenarios mirrored one another in a certain way for me. I immediately thought of the school bus scene in Mean Girls when Alona in The Ghost and the Goth is run over by a school bus for her death. Alona has a dominating personality and is always used to getting her way. Will, however, very rarely gets his way, and so he needs Alona's help in order to survive high school and all of the different things going on in his personal life, and being able to deal with ghosts nearby. The two form an unlikely bond over the course of the series. Granted, if Alona didn't die prematurely in a horrible death, chances are these two probably wouldn't have gotten together. Stacey Cade did a great job of providing character growth over the course of each of the novels, so it makes it easier for me as the reader to understand how these two eventually form a connection. I hurt my back a little while ago, and so I read the series very quickly because I couldn't actually go anywhere, and so it was a fun way to pass the time. If you liked the Mediator series by Meg Cabot, this is a book series that should probably be added to your to-be-read list. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you like this series, please give this video a thumbs up. If you know of any other books similar to the Ghost in the Goth series or the Mediator series, please comment down below and recommend a few. I would love to read them in the future. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and as always, have a great reading day.